This is uh, Dr. Bernstein with uh, another edition of Dr. Bernstein's uh, Diabetes University. Uh, this time we're going to talk about diabetic pregnancies. Diabetic pregnancies are notorious for their effects upon the pregnant woman and also their effects upon the fetus, upon fetal de development and fetal size. Um, most diabetic pregnancies involve uh, very high blood sugars and also involve uh, obesity of the mother because the doctors are pushing high carbohydrates for these uh, mothers to be. Um, there are a number of complications that occur during these pregnancies. Again, due to the high carbohydrate and high blood sugars, namely uh, uh, very high blood pressure and uh, complications of the high blood pressure that can lead to loss of consciousness and even death of the mother. Um, the Because or, organogenesis, namely the uh, creation of new organs, begins uh, during the first trimester of pregnancy, the first three months, uh, we see a high incidence of impaired organ development in uh, children of diabetic mothers, again due to the high blood sugars. Now, uh, to give you an example of some of the things that can happen, I had one patient who wanted to get pregnant. She got pregnant, uh, by the way, against my advice because uh, she had not yet controlled her own overeating. And her uh, obstetrician was one of the many who advocated uh, great weight gain and uh, high carbohydrate diets, uh, making ridiculous claims like the baby needs a lot of carbohydrate, as if uh, he cannot get the carbohydrate from the mother's blood sugar, whatever it happens to be. He also ignored the fact that uh, the average uh, blood sugar of non-diabetic women, non-obese, non-diabetic women who become pregnant, at least during the first uh, half of pregnancy, the blood sugars run around 65. That's normal blood sugar. Um, they don't feel hypoglycemic and they feel fine with blood sugars of 65. But this was ignored. The lady was told to eat the ADA recommendation of 137 grams of carbohydrate a day and the child was born with cystic fibrosis. Uh, I had uh, resigned from the case as soon as the obstetrician required the high carbohydrate diet. I said either we go to a low carb obstetrician who believes in normal blood sugars or I cannot be in charge of your diabetes because I don't know how to control your blood sugars with all that carbohydrate. Uh, a sad ending, but on the other side of the coin, we have uh, a, an endocrinologist who specializes in diabetic pregnancies. Her name is Lois Jovanovich, and she is the medical director of the Sansum, S-A-N-S-U-M, uh, center in um, Santa Barbara, California. And she has been specializing in normal blood sugars for pregnant women for many years, I would say about 40, uh, well, at least 35 years. And she is famous for the fact that her mothers don't develop complications and the offspring do not 
develop complications. She gets normal babies far more than anyone else simply by uh, helping her mothers to get normal blood sugars. Thank you very much for watching and please read uh, down below uh, about my monthly teleconference which, uh, which are free. The bulk of what you've heard on this video uh, appears in my book, Dr. Bernstein's Diabetes Solution, which is available at uh, most internet and local bookstores. It is published by the Hachette Book Group. I'd like to remind you that we have monthly free teleseminars every month at the site AskDrBernstein.net. Doctor is spelt D-R, so AskDrBernstein.net for a free monthly teleseminar. Uh, sign up a day or two in advance so that you get a reserved seat. Good luck and thanks for listening.